In this After Effects tutorial, we will create this abstract style text animation in After Effects which can be created with some basic shape layers and some inbuilt effect. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. all right guys so here we are in after effects let's start by creating a new composition let's call this render as our main render comp 2560 by 1440 that is 2k you can of course go with full hd or 4k if you want to 30 fps is fine and 10 seconds long duration press ok then select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want i'm gonna type in motion graphics for the font i'm using clash cross thick which is one of my favorite font and a super amazing font let's set the kerning to zero and for the font weight i'll go with something like maybe semi bold should be fine and align this into the center so there we go there we have our text now let's create a new solid so press ctrl y and call this fractal press ok Go into effects and presets and search for fractal noise double click to apply that let's set the fractal type to dynamic and the noise type to linear then i'll increase the contrast a little bit so let's set this to around 120 that looks fine then i'll go to evolution options and animate the random seed so to animate this, I will be using a very simple expression. I will hold Alt and click on the stopwatch and let's type in time times 12. So it's going to keep on animating like this. And that is exactly what we want. Now I'll select this layer, press Ctrl, Shift and C to pre-compose it. Call this fractal and make sure to click on move all attributes and press OK. We can hide this layer if we want to. Then select the text layer, go into effects and presets and search for displacement map. Double click to apply that. And in the displacement map layer, I'll set this to fractal. So now when I preview this, we have this really nice kind of a wiggling effect. And that is exactly what we are going for. Now you can play around with the text. If you keep it very thin, maybe some like extra light, we get this kind of a stop motion kind of a effect on our text which looks cool in itself but we will take this one step further and make it look really really cool so what i'm going to do is select the text layer right click and go into create create shapes from text so it's going to hide the text and create a new layer made out of shapes so let's go right here in the add property and add a trim path now we can animate this to achieve a really interesting look so we can animate the end offset as you can see and if you don't like the way it animates i can rotate the offset so it starts from a different angle so something like that right for now i'll leave it at zero and let's animate the end property so I'll create a keyframe on 0%, go to around 1 second and 10 frames and set this all the way up to 100. Select the keyframes and you can go into keyframe assistant and easy ease them. So now we have something that reveals like this. Pretty nice. So this is the base. Now let's duplicate and create a few more copies. So I'll zoom into my timeline. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's go to five frames and move this forward. Duplicate this one more time. Take this to around 10 frames. One more time to 15 and one more time. Now let's quickly add a background as well. So I'll press Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. Press OK. Go into effects and presets and search for fill effect. Double click to apply that. Pull that at the back and let's give it a nice background so maybe something like darker purplish tone that, look, that would look nice i think okay so that is looking nice then what i'm going to do is first of all let's select this layer and solo this up all right we can press ctrl shift h to hide the control property so we can focus on the animation and then from here i'll add some stroke like so 
let's set this to around maybe 10 or 15 should be good and for the stroke color i'll pick with the background color so let's turn on the background and pick with the background color for the fill color i'll go with a nice purple tone maybe a little bit of more muted one okay so that is looking good let's bring up the second layer so now we have this one the second one i'll set this one to a nice blue color now let's turn on the upper one and i'll set this one to kind of a pinkish tone and then finally this one i'll make this kind of a nice yellow and we want the white one to be as it is so now we have something which looks like this pretty cool now what i'm going to do is first of all let's select the top layer and i want this to animate from a different angle so i'll select this go into search and type in offset and let's offset it by maybe something like 45 or 90 let's try this out okay this angle is not looking great i'll we go with something like this it depends on the letters that you're using so make sure you play around with the letters to see what looks good and yeah i think this one looks nice okay now to make it look a bit more complex what i'm going to do is select the red one and let's add a stroke again on this one as well so let's go with something like maybe 10 and for the color i'll use the same background color so i want to create an effect that looks like a cutout effect we can see it looks really cool maybe a little bit more like 15 yep as you can see we get this nice cutout kind of an effect and that is what exactly i'm going for now let's select this and let's try an effect called venetial blinds on this and i'm gonna maybe set this to somewhere around 20 percent should be fine and set this one to um let's go with like 14 or something and give it an angle of 45 okay seven is much looking much better i think so you can see it it adds a nice element of detail into our text and that is exactly what i'm going for we can also experiment with some drop shadows so let's select this right click go into layer styles and let's try drop shadow let's uh, set the distance to zero and increase the size itself like so and increase this let's add a noise of maybe four percent and for the color i'll uh, select a darker orangish color so it's very subtle but i think it adds a nice sense of detail into the scene so i can basically copy this layer style control c and paste it on the top one as well let's go into this and drop shadow bring down the noise to two percent and for the color i'll make it gray also the size i'll keep it very very subtle like so so these small details you know builds up the complete effect i think okay for the color i'll make a little bit of changes here so i'll go with maybe something like an orange color that looks much better to me so yeah okay and finally on this yellow color i will add an effect called roughen edges the idea here is to make it uh, look a bit more complex and a big, bit more that grungy look to it so it creates kind of an abstract feel so i'll set the border to eight okay that is looking fine maybe increase the complexity to four and bring down the scale to around 30 so we have this nice grungy look i think that is a bit too much i'll increase the sharpness like so 30 is way too much let's go with something like maybe 50 so now we have that nice grungy look as you can see it looks good as well in the final result now we can add stroke on the final main uh, text as well and select the background color so we have something like this which is looking quite nice i think so if i preview this now this is what we have and it's looking quite detailed in itself 
so yeah it's looking nice one more thing that i would like to do is add some posturized time to give it a bit more stop motion kind of a feel so i'll go into effects and presets search for oh not stop motion but posturized time and let's set this to 12 frames so that so this effect will change the time duration of the animation to 12 frames instead of 30 fps so control c and paste it on all the other layers control v so now if i preview this you can see we have a much more stop motion kind of a feel to the complete effect and it's looking nice i think i'll remove the drop shadow from the orange layer because this is not looking good so i'll just go right here go into layer styles and close it for now and the final touch up that i would like to add is add some texture to add a bit more layer of detail into this so i'll select the grunge texture place it on the top like so and i can scale this down obviously something like that and then change the now if you are using an older version of after effects you need to place the texture or whichever image that you want to track matte on top of the layer that you want to matte so right here i'm going to select the grunt texture and set this to luma matte and there we have this nice texture as you can see on the orange on the purple layer but because i am using the newer version of after effects in which the track matte options are a little bit different but it adds a bit more flexibility so i can use one texture on multiple different layers so i can place it however i want so this is a really useful feature so if you're using an older version of after effects i think this is the time you need to upgrade to a newer version that will be super helpful to you so similarly let's see if i want to add this paper texture on any other uh any other shape or element i can bring that down i can hide that and then let's say i want to add that paper texture on the on the orange layer so i'll select that go right here and select the paper texture and set this to luma matte and there you have your nice texture as you can see looking pretty cool let's try the grunge texture i think the grunge texture looks much better we don't need the paper texture we can use the paper texture for background actually and set this to maybe something like an overlay or something and yeah that looks good as well we can scale that up but then also we need to change the stroke color it de defeats the complete purpose of the stroke so for now i'll hide this but there you have your wiggly stop motion style text animation in after effects i think it's a super cool effect and there are some really great possibilities that you can do with this particular technique so make sure to play around have fun and um, upload it on social media do tag me if you upload it i would love to check it out and if you guys are interested in watching more such text animation videos then i have a complete playlist with over 50 plus tutorials that you can binge watch right now so make sure to check them out you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and nikhil pavar and with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out